No, 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 no. Don't get caught doing the following or else. What's going on everybody? I mostly make how-to videos on how to become an elite angler. Today, we're going to be doing the opposite. From a skilled angler perspective, I go out fishing and see many things that are just plain wrong in fishing. Some of them are pretty obvious. Some people do these because they don't know any better. You see, habits are hard to break and according to some psychologists, it takes 21 consistent days to drop a habit. So here are my top 5 fishing habits you need to stop doing right now. But before we continue, if you want to be elite all year round, you want to look elite and fish like a pro, please click on the subscribe button and hit that bell notification for some of the crispiest fishing videos out here. Also, if you have Instagram, follow me at Beach Bomber Fishing for some of the best fishing pics out here. Before we continue, I also want to warn you that some people might find some of these offensive. Please be thick skinned. I know a lot of people get offended by many things nowadays, but when it comes to fishing, you have to be thick skinned. People are going to judge you, people are going to make fun of your fish, people are going to call out the measurements of your fish, and sometimes that offends us. I, I'm used to it. You know, being in public spotlight with the millions of views. I get criticized every single day, but every criticism that I get, I take it as constructive criticism, alright? So please do not get offended, do not take these personal, alright? Number 5. Reeling Mongo You see, in skateboarding, pushing Mongo is when you leave your back foot on the board and push with your front foot. <laughs> it's generally a frowned upon. Nothing makes you look like a complete noob like reeling a spinning reel incorrectly. No excuse. I don't even know where people get the idea of spinning reel is supposed to be reeled in this way. I let my two-year-old son reel in one of my spinning reels and his brain clicked, he reeled it incorrectly. I have seen people incorrectly reel a convention reel also, which I don't even know how they do that. I can just imagine the gigantic bulge of line being reeled in unevenly on the spool. Reeling incorrectly is like skateboarding Mongo. It's like buttering your bread and then putting it in the toaster. Reeling Mongo is actually just like making eggs before the bacon. That's just not how it works. Number four. Along with reeling downside up, it gets worse. Add a downside up spinning reel on a casting rod. Oh my god. <laughs> I see this all the time at the jetties, the pier, the surf, the local pond, everywhere. There is a reason why there are rods for spinning reels and casting reels. If you use a spinning reel on a casting rod, you'll sacrifice accuracy, distance, you'll also get heavy wind knots. It's also true in reverse. Now, I understand if you buy the wrong rod online, but let me help you out. A casting rod usually has a C in the model number for casting and an S for spinning. It's that easy. Please buy the correct rod for the correct reel. Speaking about using the correct gear, I once saw a guy casting a frog in the surf. That was just dumbfounded. And guess what? He didn't catch anything. Now speaking of not catching anything, if you didn't catch anything, it's okay. Half the time I don't catch anything anyways. Actually 75% of the time I don't catch anything, but that's okay. What's not okay is taking pictures with other people's fish and act like you caught it. Stolen Valor is when somebody catches a fish, then a person wants to take a picture of it, then post it on social media to act like they caught it. Then the title of the post is super vague. It doesn't say that the person caught it, but most importantly, it does not say that they didn't catch it. Look, I know we've all done it. Some of us have put all our limits together to take a picture to make it look like a huge limit, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about with that one guy that randomly comes up to you and asks if he can take a picture with it. If he starts to post with the fish, <laughs> you already know, he done stole your glory. That's it. See, and in my opinion, this is basically plagiarism, but for fishing. Stolen valor, do not be a victim to it. You just catch that, bro? Yeah. Dude, let me have it, man. Hell, now get your own fish. Bro, how many you got in here, though, dude? You got it. You got it. Open my clue like that, bro. What's that, dude? Is that a, is that a shad? Bro, it's a freaking uh, tarpon. Can I take a picture with it, bro? I guess. So I can uh, look like I caught it? Hell yeah, dude. Look at. Man, check out this fish that I just caught, man. It's a big flounder right here, man. It's like 23 inches. This is, a, this is a doormat, bro. This is like 24 inches right here. Look how thick it is. It's like 2 inches thick. Man, I just caught it, y'all. Hell yeah. Uh, look at that, bro. Big old doormat. Tilapia right here? Yeah, y'all, check out this tilapia. Look at this tilapia right here. Man, I just caught this tilapia too. Hell yeah, tilapia, look at these. 
Now from Stolen Valor, we move into the next two not to do. Now warning, these are gonna trigger the hell out of people. I know, some of y'all will probably unsubscribe, but these next two will make you a better angler, okay? Trust me, I'm doing this for you all, not for me. Before you unsubscribe or hit the dislike button, just think about that, okay? Here we go, because <laughs> I know this is tough. This one's tough. Number two, quit pot licking. One of the worst feelings is when I catch a fish and all of a sudden I'm being bum rushed by five different humans to cast in the same exact spot where I caught that fish. There have been many times when people push me aside, elbow me, and take advantage. Luckily, I can maintain my composure and keep cool. Other people might have a short fuse and get onto you. Look, fish swim all over the area. They're not always in the same spot. Just because I caught a fish in one area doesn't mean that there are any other fish in the other areas. Bum rushing and pot licking creates an undesirable situation, cross lines, animosity, which all are frowned upon, okay? And I understand certain regions of the world people fish differently. Some parts of the US thrive on this. In Texas, this is frowned upon. I have fished certain parts of the US that if they see a fish, the whole pier runs in that direction. They're, they're throwing lures at the same fish and everything, you know. You got, you got a fish here? Oh, let me try my luck. Look, the guy caught a fish. Oh shit, huh? I think I should go cast in front of him. Maybe I can uh, catch something. Let me try my luck. Let's go cast. Let's go pop it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bonus. This is a bonus because I see this all the time also. I'm a catch and release person, just like many others. If I catch a fish that's oversized, I will always let it go. Always. No exceptions. I always let my oversized fish go. I don't give fish away, ever. Only my bait. Seriously, catch your own fish. Quit asking for people's fish. There's been many times that I catch a bull red and someone asks me if they can have it. I say no and they want to get upset when I release it. And I but anyways, I messed up one time. I caught a bull red. This dude asked me if he could have it since I was throwing it back. I said, yeah, sure, no harm, right? Wrong. Turns out the guy did not have a fishing license. He could not tag the oversized bull red. And guess what? The game warden showed up. Talks to him, then the guy pins it on me saying it's my fish, not his. Man, I almost got a big ass fine for that. The moral of the story is, do not give your fish away. Quit asking for them. 16? Nice, can I, can I have it? All right, next one. Huh? Next one. You already caught too many, bro. I, I, want, I, I want one. Let me have it. I ain't, I ain't got but one. This okay. is my second one. Oh, come on. This is my second one, really? I should have brought my cooler down here, but I waited so long to do it. And so you only got one? That one? This is the second one. This is the second one. What you got over here, an aquarium? Aquarium full of shrimp. Can I keep those two or what? Huh? Can I keep them so I can eat them? Yeah, next, 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 next time. The next time. <laughs> the next fish you're going to have. All right, here we are at number one. And I already know <laughs> that I'm going to get some major hate for this one. Quit asking for fishing spots. No one is going to give you their honey holes. Do people ask you to let them borrow your girl because they can't get one? No. Quit asking. Quit asking on Facebook for spots also. Find your own fishing spots. You don't own the water, bro, so tell me. Hey, wey, ¿tú no cachaste ese pinche cata, wey? ¿Tiene vato? ¿Tú dónde es el daño del agua? People ask for fishing spots on Facebook. People automatically flag you as a pot licker. People view that as lazy and will think that you don't want to put in the work. You will also receive a ton of smarky remarks. Stupid answers such as, oh, in the water. Trust me. I found out the hard way. I gave away a fishing spot that I fished for Flounder. He said he wouldn't tell anybody. Well, guess what? He took his brother. And then his brother took his friends. Their friends took their friends. And their friends took their weekend warrior buddies that left a little bit of trash. Then friends of friends of friends of friends of friends showed up, completely trashed the spot. Then the original friends started taking credit for the spot. I came back, that spot was dried up, no fish, due to heavy fishing pressure. Look. There's absolutely no reason to ask for fishing spots in this day and age. We have the world at our fingertips. A lot of us have a smartphone. Look up some tips on how to find fishing spots. Watch YouTube videos. I personally have a ton of how-to videos, many which give you the basic foundation on how to look for spots. Look, trust me, there is nothing more rewarding than finding your own spot and consistently catching fish in them. 
I know some people are going to get mad. They don't want to give away spots. But trust me, once you find a spot, I guarantee that you will never tell anybody. Look, fishing is an amazing hobby. It's extremely rewarding and therapeutic. Save yourself some trouble and stop doing these five things. All these tips are guaranteed to make you a better angler. Look, I'm not trying to insult anybody, so please don't take personal offense, okay? Take this as constructive criticism if you do any of these. Look, I became a better angler due to constructive criticism. I love being criticized. I love listening to what people have to say because that makes me a better person. Like that, I know what to fix. And when it came to YouTube, I might not have a ton of subscribers, but trust me, I took a lot of criticism and I absorbed it. And that's why I made elite videos. All right, that's it. Which do you think belong on the list? Let me know in the comments right below. And I just might make part two. Appreciate it, y'all.